All right, we're going to start with putting together the blue chick and the table for the blue chick. This is the table, the bed of the blue chick. This is the, the top of it, and you'll see that there are counter bores. So the screw will be able to be counterboard into the wood so it doesn't rise above. So, it, you know, you can use it to lay material flat. And we're going to be putting these ribs on the back of this table and it'll be oriented like this and we'll have three of these one here one here and one here and one thing to note is that the holes are aligned they're not symmetrical so if it if the hole aligns like this and you see it flat on the top it needs to be turned around because there's another piece that gets uh, positioned here and this is really i think this is only on the the 24 inch table and not the 32 inch table uh, it may be symmetrical on the 36 inch table so let's go ahead and put this put these ribs on and we're going to need 24 of these one half inch screws and one and a half inch screws and 24 of the cross valves i'm going to start with one on the top bottom and then i'll put one on the other side so it'll hold in place Good. Okay, so far we have put together the, the table surface and we've put in three ribs that are going to keep it, keep this table surface nice and flat. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is put on the table ends. The table end looks like this and it's going to go, this is why we had this space left over because it's going to be put at this location and there's going to be another one of these put to the bottom location. So let's go ahead and put these together. You'll also notice that these holes are a little bit oval shaped and that is to compensate for any kind of difference in thicknesses of these woods. So if you have something that's thinner uh, or even thicker then this should be able to compensate to a certain degree. The screws we're using for this step is quarter inch by one and a half inches in length and for four cross dowels. 
This will be um, implemented also on the other side with four cross dowels and four screws. Okay, we have the table done. We have the ribs underneath to keep the table nice and, and flat. And we have the two ends. You might notice that there's these strange slots here, and this is actually to carry the ends of the roller chain. Uh, what we're gonna do now is to put on the rails on either side. And when we do put on the rails, we're gonna make sure that the rails are on very loose so the rails will be able to move in and out because when we put the gantry on, then the rails are gonna to have to match the, the size of the gantry. Okay, these are the rails, and they're aluminum 6061, and you'll see that they have a large hole to match these holes, and these holes are also large, so it will permit a lot of adjustability going back and forth. Okay, so to make sure that the V-groove bearings are gonna reach the rails, it has to be oriented in this direction, and not in this direction because the V-groove bearings would not reach this side. So make sure you have both sides in this orientation and they're matching the holes. And you're going to have the bottom one in this orientation. We'll be using one and a half, one and a half inch screws that are a quarter inch diameter. And we'll be using the nuts. Okay, so you're also wondering probably how tight should I make these? You do want to make them kind of snugly tight so you can still move it a little bit, but you don't want it to be able to rock. So just finger tighten it so it maintains its, its orientation this way. But you're still able, you're still able to move it back and forth. I probably have mine a little bit too tight. Okay, we're gonna do the other side, just the same way we did this side. Okay. 